Ah, XY line time series graph. Uh, we're going to go into the statistics app and you'll notice I've already entered the data here now in this column of the year since 1900. And in this second column in list two, we've got the average Australian household size, uh, people per household. So you can see there's definitely been a decreasing trend uh, over the last hundred years. Now to actually set up our graph, job number one is to tap set graph. And uh, if you tapped edit clear all before you came in here and entered the data, then that's pretty much how yours should look. If anything else is ticked, now's the time to unselect it. And then we're gonna tap onto setting. And the type of graph we wanna draw is not a scatter, but the second one down on this list, the XY line. Uh, our X's are in list one, the Y's are in list two, a frequency of one on the mark will do as a square. So we're good with that. And we're gonna tap set to confirm those settings. Now the next job is to tap onto the draw graph icon. And you can see here's our XY line displayed in the uh, downstairs window. If we start tracing, so two ways, analysis trace, or we can simply tap on the XY icon here. It has the same effect whenever you see this to start tracing along a graph. I'll also tap resize, um, just so that we um, all we're looking at is the actual data points here, and there is that decreasing trend, although it's flattened out a little bit towards the end. To move along the points, we can simply tap right with the cursor key here and jump along the points over time. Um, and here's basically a time uh, series type of graph. When we're finished, we can tap the cross at the top and that's our graphing done.